and I just oh it's kind of painful <laughs> Anyway, well hello flutiful people, welcome along, it's time for another reaction from me. So if you're not familiar with me and my channel, hello, my name's Claire, I'm a flute player from Hull in East Yorkshire in the UK, and as well as doing reactions, I also have some flutiful covers, and um, I live stream every Sunday, so you're welcome to come along, request some music, and have a lovely chat with some like-minded folk. So, on to today's reaction, today I'm reacting to a song from the US band Shin Chicago. The track's called Colour My World and before we get to the reaction let's have some flutiful facts. So this was written by Chicago founding member James Pankow. It was part of Pankow's Ballet for a Girl in Buchanan which is uh, part of a song cycle or suite. It was recorded for the band's second album called Chicago also known as Chicago 2 and that took place in 1970. Terry Kath sings the lead vocal and Walter Parazadia performs the flute solo. So here is a uh, live recording from 1970. Let's have a listen. Before we get to the flute solo, here it comes. Um, it's so lovely to be reacting to something that's actually been played live. If you've seen um, my previous reactions, uh, they were from the 60s and um, a lot of stuff was um, kind of mimed to, just I think due to the technology and stuff. So it's really, really obvious that this is being played fully, fully live. Some of the um, arpeggio on the keyboard at the beginning wasn't quite always in time um, and you can just tell from the guitar strumming. So that's um, that's lovely, that's brilliant, that's what we want. And um, just what a lovely opening, really atmospheric, really simple, uh, and some really gorgeous chord changes and harmonies. This is why I absolutely adore the music from the 70s, because it's got some real um, patterns, harmonic patterns that are just not so prevalent in um, music beyond that time. So yeah, I'm loving it already, but we're about to get to the flute solo, so here we go. Right, before I forget to the end of this, I'm just I'm just I'm just kinda of dying to say something. Um I have to comment on the fingers and the posture because it's it's as you can probably tell it's kind of driving me nuts already. So 
fingers, his fingers are really, really over the keys, which is fantastic. A lot of people have problems with droopy fingers not being ready to play over the keys. So his fingers are really over the keys, which is fabulous. But if you look at his right hand, can you see how kind of lifted it is? It's really lifted and, and it kind of looks like his pinky fingers I don't know, the pinky finger looks in a funny place. I can't quite see. It doesn't look like it's it's where it needs to be, which is a little bit lower down. But his hands just really, really high like this, which is is surely going to give you lots of tension in your wrist. So I'm looking at that going, oh, it just looks really stiff. And his fingers are really straight, which doesn't enable you to play very quickly. Um, I normally encourage my students to have a kind of crocodile hand so that these fingers can really move. So that's kind of... Um, <laughs> kind of getting to me and just the way he stood so his shoulders are really high and his head's like this and I don't honestly know how he's making a sound at all his sound is is okay it's not a huge sound it's not what I'd call an open sound there isn't any vibrato there but it's a clear sound it's a clear sound but I just he's he, he's really stiff he hasn't moved a muscle in his top body and his like this and I just oh it's kind of painful <laughs> anyway let's continue It's a nice, nice sound. Impressively long note at the end. Really impressively long note at the end. But I just don't know how you can play like that. Like, I really, I'm amazed that he's getting the sound that he's getting. I have to be honest. Uh, but in terms of the music, it's simple. It suits the tune so far. I feel like it's going to pick up. I can just hear something picking up now. But um, yeah, I just, I, 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 oh. Anyway, we'll continue. <laughs> Okay, so I was right, we've got to the fun bit, haven't we? Oh my goodness, what an amazing drum solo. So tight, so fantastic, fabulous drumming there. Um, could have been longer for me. Uh, but then we go into this fabulous bit with the brass. Now, isn't it great to see live brass with, uh, with a band like this? And I wish there were more bands that had brass sections because it's just so exciting uh, and just a different sound as well. This now starts to make sense to me a little bit about the flute posture because he's clearly a, a, a musician who plays lots of instruments. Lots of uh, musicians, uh, woodwind players anyway, play flute, sax, clarinet, um, and it's what we call doubling. So they're able to play lots of these different instruments. It's something I wish I'd been encouraged to do actually when I was younger because um, it means that you can often go and get more work because you can play lots of different instruments. Anyway, um, and now he's got the saxophone is completely different, isn't it? It's kind of looser and he's m clearly much more happy with the, the posture here. So um, I'm guessing that flute is not his main instrument. Um, and yeah, that's that's maybe a slight explanation for why, uh, why the posture is like it is. Anyway, I'm loving it, let's continue. <laughs>
Thank you. Wow, so there we go. So we went from, um, I think that was an alto saxophone uh, or a tenor to a tenor saxophone. I don't think it was a tenor to a baritone. Anyway, did slightly bigger saxophones there, um, just to give that, I think, a bit more beef in the last section. Um, and yeah, I think the star, the star must go to the, the drummer, though. He was doing all sorts of things. I'm not a drummer by any means, but kind of really being acrobatic in the way he was moving his sticks to get some interesting kind of shimmers there from the from the cymbals and stuff. And yeah, a fun, a fun tune. Um, different i just like i say i think it's cool that they've got the the different instruments there and particularly having a brass uh section to a song like that it just really gives it a different texture doesn't it so so there we go um i'm i'm still gonna i'm gonna have to recover from the posture <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit longer but cool track cool to see some flute there and um and yeah that was that was interesting so i hope you've enjoyed that reaction if you have i would love a thumbs up and all your comments down below on anything i might have missed or anything else that you found interesting about that um be sure to subscribe to the channel i've got reactions coming out now on a fortnightly basis and uh in the weeks in between i'll have a new flute cover for you as well so thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon bye Bye.